thank you to Despa58 for their support on Twitch. Hello everyone, my name is Vivian and welcome to a different camera angle. I'm, I'm testing new shit because I... Nothing is allowed to stay the same. Ever. Ow! <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's Richard Day 4, extracurricular activities. And I'm trying to improve my posture because sitting like this is going to kill me. I need to fucking... <sighs> Harm -mur -mur. I wonder what Richard's gonna be up to today. I didn't see him before I left, so maybe he'll be around when I get back. Good morning, guys. They look concerned. Why are they concerned? Good morning, Hoovy. You're here early today. Yes, yeah, so much for my idea. What idea? You'll never know now. I probably don't want to know anyway. You don't have to worry about it now. But hey, we can ask him more about that rhino. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, I, I bet he didn't have a plan. I bet he didn't have an idea. He's just fucking with us, you know? Oh, yeah. Was it just us, or did he intentionally flash us yesterday? Yeah, he totally pulled his nip out. We get for Okay, yeah, just okay. His nip out for it. I'm. Why am I so easily embarrassed? God damn it! I kind of told him you were a pervert because he mentioned you kept staring at him, and he asked if you'd enjoy him doing something like that. Well, I did, <laughs> so you can tell him that. I told him you probably enjoyed it anyway. Allegedly, I don't think it's alleged. He he said it, didn't he? Dine has said that he changed all the fucked up versions of probably to probably, except for Richard, <laughs> because his accent apparently warrants it. I'm just glad that the the scourge is mostly gone now. Take what victories we can get. I told him you probably enjoyed it anyway. Oh, <laughs> good. Where can we expect to see him around the courts again? Possibly tomorrow. I think he's gonna come watch our matches. So you, you can introduce us properly. Oh, nope, nope. Then you can introduce us properly. It sounds like I might finally get Darius out of my fur then. Please, you still haven't let me in it. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> like I, that'll ever happen with how you act. Give it some more time. See, that's one of the many reasons. Many, many plethora of reasons why I don't like these two together. You just keep telling yourself that. The three of you chatted a bit longer while more students wandered in, and it wasn't long until class began. And now class is over! <laughs> you guys have fun with your math. <laughs> your newfangled math things. As long as the teacher is there this time, who knows if he's back or not. I think he's back today. Looks like there's actual words on this plaque over the water fountain. I wonder if that's if that's true over here. If it's oh, and there's more words over there. Wait a minute. No, of course it can't be the same. Fuck. Whatever. If not, shoot me a message, and we'll end up we'll meet up again before lunch, Spence. And if he is there, then I guess I'll meet you in the cafeteria. Sure. You two have a lunch date, huh? It it isn't a date. Yeah, I'm too much of a sexual deviant for Spencer to go on a date with me. Isn't that right, Spence? Uh, absolutely right. But if I wasn't so much of one, you'd go out with me, right? I... I would not. We're gonna be late, Ovi! <laughs> so much fun to tease. Uh, what? Oh, is this like a theater poster? Rock... Uh, what the fuck? I have no idea what that poster's for, I apologize. Usually there's, all the posters and stuff are little shout outs or something. He's surprisingly flustered all of a sudden. Yeah, I'll bet he'll lay into me for it at lunch. Why? No reason. Later, dude. Huh. Hoovy! Coming! <laughs> oh, hey, the same hallway, but not the same hallway. This is the green hallway! My god, man! You were both surprised to find your teacher available for class today. And the lesson was a standard one. Wow, we're breezing through this fucking class part of the day. 
uh, probably means there's going to be a fuckload of shit at uh, M14. <laughs> Sorry. Your phone vibrated in your pocket a couple of times while class was going, and you checked it when class was over, and you were in the hallway. Hey, bud, do you got plans after class? <laughs> do I have plans to continue playing after class? I'm not really interested. I could use some help with something if er free. About to head back, so I can help after I eat something. I guess you're off to lunch with Darius? Yeah, what about you? My friend texted me and asked if I was free after class and could help him with something, so I guess that's what I'm doing. Same friend from yesterday, or a different friend? Says our best friend who has problems with us never hanging out with him. Why is he got a, like a, a, a cow belt? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe slowly during this route he'll like get fancier and fancier clothes as Darius keeps trying to bribe him into fucking... I hate it so much! Same one. His name is Richard, in case I haven't mentioned that yet. You haven't. But that's good to know. Fix the posture. Any idea what he needs help with? No clue. I'll find out when I get there. Well, be safe then. If for some reason you need any extra help, give me a call. Thanks, Spence. Good luck to you in dealing with Darius. To be honest, I'm surprised you two have lunch plans together. He, uh, he owes me, so he's buying me lunch. <laughs> I see. Well, you have fun with that. I'll do my best with him. See you tomorrow, Hoovy. See ya. Time to head back to the shelter and see what Richard needs help with. Good, you're home! What the fuck with the jorts? With the torn jorts. You already gave them the route. You don't have to try so hard. <laughs> he pointed to the table where a plate had a sandwich nestled among a nest of potato chips. He made dinner. Hey, man. <laughs> you take what you can get. I'd love it if I just showed up to a place and there was a sandwich amongst a nest of potato chips. I couldn't eat it, though. Because I'm on a diet. Fun. <laughs> Depression session of extracurricular activities. Ah, I made you a sandwich tea. Then we can get to work. You didn't have to do that. Well, but thanks. <laughs> the bread was perfectly golden, but the cheese and some other unknown substance was oozing out of it, giving it a disheveled look. You gave the poetic <laughs> treatment to the sandwich. Alright. What's this? <laughs> What's this? A grilled cheese or something? Yeah, with turkey and some pesto sauce. <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you, you don't know what you just did to me, man. Go back oh, to the invention. Joe, you know what? Look, you right Joe, there. Joe. Toasted bread, cheese, and ham. That's how it was invented. By Monsieur Croquet in yeah. 1910, you yeah! The girl cheese is good enough to argue it on its own. Why are you bringing ham and turkey into this? You're ruining your whole I'm argument. I'm just talking. I'm Listen not! Me. Can I put pickles on it? <laughs> you! Can I put pickles on no. it? No! On the side? No! A nice stupid pick asshole! <laughs> you're a stupid <laughs> dumb asshole! You make no sense! It's maddening! I don't know how many times I've wanted to say that we're playing these games. It's pretty good shit. Figured you might like it too. You, sh you shrugged and took a bite, despite its sacrilegious nature, and <laughs> a variety of flavors filled your mouth. Mmm or hmm? Man, these are the kind of mind-bending choices that really intrigue a person. Mmm or hmm? How is a person supposed to know? It's mmm. I know what it means, smartass! Mm, that's pretty great, Richard. Tastes really good. Told ya! I can eat them all the time. Well, thanks again for making it. You're welcome. So, what'd you need me to help you with? Mowing and weed eating today. Oh, fun. Oh. The grass is a bit wild, and it'll be faster if we do it together. It doesn't look it doesn't, it doesn't look that bad. Boy, you might need some glasses then. It's looking like a jungle out there. I think you're over-exaggerating. 
Finish eating and I'll show you. After we get to mowing and such done, some a bit, some a bushes, one of those some a bitches, some of bushes need to be trimmed and some of the other gardens need weeding too. We're gonna really spruce up the yard today. He's trying so hard to make Maria like him. Please try to remember that I have a match tomorrow and don't need to be exhausted for it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I ain't gonna work you to death. I only gonna use you for a few hours at most. Shouldn't really take that long. I just wanna get it all handled before this evening. Gotcha. So finish eating. Richard disappeared, let you finish eating, so you crammed what was left of your food into your mouth so you could get started in the yard. All right, I'm all set to get started. Boy, take your pants off. What? what, what? You're not gonna do this yard work wearing pants today. You open on some shorts. Unless you want to work in your skivvies, but didn't doubt you'd do that with Maria being around. Oh, that's what you mean. I guess it is pretty warm today. Mm-hmm. I'd say keep them on for the weed eating, but I'll do that. I got tough skin, so I'll be fine to handle it. So go change and meet me out back. Will do. Betty would have liked it if I just walked out there in my underwear. Maybe I should do it anyway just to throw them off. Do it or don't do it. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I obviously think it's a bad idea. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna save. Uh, just to see what happens if we do it. If there's like a big kerfuffle. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Just take off my shorts at the back door and step out there and see how he reacts. You went to your room to change into shorts. Then you went to join Richard in the backyard. Also... I know you're, you're weed eating in in shorts is a bad idea, but mowing in shorts is a bad idea. You can take a little extra fucking heat to the legs to save your skin. You checked around you, glanced out of a window to make sure Richard was alone out back. The coast was clear. It's never clear. Maria's around every curtain. The coast was clear, and you pulled your shorts off and stepped into the backyard. Oh, there he is. I'm all set, Richard. <laughs> Boy, I can't believe you actually came out here in your undies. He looked mad there for a second. <laughs> I mean, if that's how you want to work, I ain't gonna complain. It's a good view. Just don't expect me to defend you in case Maria comes out and sees you. <laughs> I'm not gonna work like this. I just want to see how you react. Well, that's too bad. Yet I'm sure you. I sure don't want to have to try to explain it to Maria. Put your shorts on before she pops out of nowhere. If you want me to see you in your underwear, you can show me in private later. <laughs> what do you want me to do? You'll be mowing while I weed eat. <laughs> Rhino is just gonna eat it. Are you really sure it needs to be mowed? The grass seems pretty normal to me. Bro, look at the fucking- look at this shit. It's glowing. What the fuck? It needs mowing! Just look! Things are starting to look a little messy! It's not neat! I don't see what you see, but I'll take your word for it. I guess I must be like that too, because I don't know how many times I've been, you know, going wherever, and I'll look out my window uh, while I'm driving, and I'll see some old white man mowing what looks to be half a centimeter off of his lawn. And he always looks miserable doing it. I'm like, why the fuck are you doing it then? There's... Homeowners Association isn't in this neighborhood. Lord knows they'd get enough of the fines. Probably just out of us. <laughs> you ain't got a choice! Of course you do, you could just fuck off. The mower's already been set to the proper height, just crank it up and get started. You know how to start it, right? I have used the lawnmower before. Just making sure. Let's get this done. He took the lawnmower, revved it up, and got to work while he moved around the yard with the weed eater. I would agree that this yard needs the fucking mowing. Of course, it doesn't look like the mowing as such as the weed eater, definitely, because the shit's growing all up on the sides, but the grass itself looks not only flat, but shiny. It looks like water, for fuck's sake. You were directed to handle the front, back, and side of the house. And Richard was done with his task long before you were. He didn't stop working, though, and he got right to his next task. You were both stopped when Maria waved you down and presented you with drinks! Oh, wow! God! Jesus! 
Here, boys, I made some lemonade for you. Thank you kindly, Maria. Mm-hmm, thanks. It's so nice of you to take care of the yard today. To be honest, I didn't think it needed to be mowed again already, but now that I've seen it taken care of, I can see the difference. See, bud, I told you. But she didn't think it needed to be done. I see the difference too, but I still think it would have been fine for another week at least. No, it had to be done now. Well, don't work him too hard, Richard. He needs to be well rested for his matches tomorrow. I remember. He's about done mowing. We're going to weed all the gardens and be mostly done. Mostly? It's mostly just because some clean up around outside. I want things to look really nice for you. Aw, that's sweet of you. I don't want you working Hoovy too hard, though. It's okay, Maria. I'll be fine. I'll stop if it feels like it's too much. Okay. Thank you both for taking care of this for me. Everything around here looks is looking so wonderful. You're welcome. I'm glad I can help out somehow. I appreciate you both doing this. I'll leave you both uh, I'll leave you boys to it now, and I'll check in again before I leave tonight. I forgot she was going out tonight. How the fuck now you didn't? You were just you were <laughs> Yeah, so it'll just be us again. Mmm, I reckon. Mmm, I reckon. But you're gonna wanna get to bed at a decent time so you're rested up for tomorrow. I am, but we can still hang out. You know what? You're right. How about we order a pizza for dinner, watch some TV, and just shoot the shit? <laughs> sure. It's a date or sure. Yes or very yes. Let's go with very yes. Also, the underwear thing seemed to pay off, so I guess we're fine. It's a date then. Dots. Sure, it's a date. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I don't know if that was the right choice. Oh no. Y'all point out if I fuck up. I don't need to tell you to do that. You, you do pretty fine on, on your own. You got a yard to finish mowing though, so you better get to it. I'm on it. You and Richard continue to work in the yard. You pulled out your phone at one point to check the time, and a thought crossed your mind. Richard's so wrapped up in his work, he'd never notice if I... What the fuck? Snapped a quick picture of him. What the fuck are you doing? You're already messing with your phone, so you open the camera and aimed it at him as discreetly as possible, so I don't get a choice in this? This creepy fucking shit? I bet he'd willingly pose for me if I asked him. Almost as if on cue, Richard paused to admire the work he finished. You snapped the picture quickly and turned away like you were still checking the time. Oh, for the love of mud. That is not admiring his work in the yard. That is not what that is. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Perfect. Oh, for God's sake. Wow, he looks great in this picture. I almost feel like I should show him. Maybe another day, though, in case he makes me delete it. Stop gawking at your phone and help me finish up over. Rich, do the thing! Ah, right. I'll just admire that a bit more later. You pocketed your phone and went back to help Richard. And now we're inside. By the way, forgot to mention, um, <laughs> apparently the Bara Godmother, that fucking. I saw for the first time, uh, last episode, on episode 146, uh, apparently that's the, it replaced the, uh, the, oh, who did I have a dream about last night thing to show you which care, uh, which route you're on, and I gotta tell you, I got mixed, I got mixed feelings about that, <laughs> but I think I made that clear already, uh, yeah, it's just weird that I guess it makes sense, because I, I started all the routes long ago, but I haven't, I've had to remake the save files a few times, but whatever. All done out there? Yep, yard looks a hundred times better now. I saw the front just a few minutes ago, and it does look absolutely wonderful. Oh, she's got more, I was going to say, she changed clothes again, but no, she just added a coat and a scarf. Thank you both again so much for all the hard work. It's the least we can do since you're giving us a place to stay. Yeah. Good contribution there, Hoovy. Still, thank you. I'm sure Conrad will agree when he gets here too. 
He should be here any minute now. If he tells you otherwise, you better tell him not to come back. Oh, you. He would never. But I'll humor you and actually tell him. <laughs> Good. And speaking of, it looks like he just pulled up. I'm going now, so I'll see you boys later. Have fun, Maria, and be safe. You call me right away if you need us. Of course, but everything will be fine. Bye 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 boys. See ya later. Maria was out the door and into the car of a man you couldn't quite make out, and then they were off. <laughs> hey, don't get grumpy on me now. We have our own plans for the night, remember? Mm, right. We should go clean ourselves up before we get this date started, though. You're gonna help me get these those hard to reach places? <laughs> not on date one, I'm not. <laughs> Figuring out at least ask. Is, are they joking with each other? Or is this actually being considered the first date? Day four? I well we will see how it plays out. Come on, let's go shower. There's no way I'm getting around being in there at the same time as him tonight, so I better just come to terms with that right now. You and Richard split off to your rooms to get fresh change of clothes. You both return to the bathroom at the same time. Oh boy. Oh, for the love of God. Okay, Strawberry, you you better be ready, bro. Do I have the sensor bar? I do! Good. Thank you again to Paul. Uh, Wolfstar Sins in Paradise Dev Paul for making that bar. Already lost your shorts? Maria ain't here, so we could have just strolled back here naked if we wanted. You're not the only two people at this fucking house. We've, it's been said before, you've got multiple kinds of people at this place. This inexplicably high maintenance, homely environment that at no point has like a real life equivalent that I have ever seen before. Huh, that's true. I ought to thank you again for helping out today. Oh, Lord. You really made things a lot easier for me. I'm, like, taking no time between each click just to make sure if I have to make a cut. You're welcome. I don't mind helping out with the yard. Okay. <laughs> like, I'm nervous. I don't know why. It's not live. I don't have to worry about it. That's good. Because I got some other ideas in mind that I'll need some help with. I'd like to leave this place looking a lot better when I leave than when I got here. So I'ma do, I'ma do, I'll do all I can for Maria before I go. I'll do whatever I can to help too. Though I reckon I might have to come back every now and then to keep things in order. <laughs> Nobody else will be able to handle it. Nope. You and Richard stood around in your underwear a minute. And your heart started to thump as you knew what was coming next. You grabbed the waistband of your underwear and started to pull them down as Richard grabbed his towel, walked away, and stepped into his shower stall. You gonna shower in your underwear? He said that, and his briefs were tossed over the door. <laughs> A true gentleman never shows it all off on the first date. You gotta wine and dine me a couple times at least. <laughs> oh, what a fine gentleman you are, then. Unless you want me to step back out there naked. <laughs> naked. The door to his stall flung open and his bare legs stretched out into the open. Ah! <laughs> Just... What is the fucking... It's like the... Um, it's, it's like the old-timey like 50s movie when a leg pops out. Yeah. Jazz music. Oh, well... Now the deep laugh bellowed from the stall and his leg retracted, only to be replaced with his head poking out. Stop standing there all flustered looking to get in the shower. What? Fluss see, stop standing there all flustered looking and getting a shower already. I ain't gonna wait for you if the pizza gets here before you're done. <laughs> okay. Door closed again and you grabbed your towel. Oh, and don't. Why do you do this to me, man? <laughs> God fucking damn it. <sighs> I, got, I gotta read it. It's part of it's 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 a part of it. Oh don't even don't, don't wanna say it. 
Oh, and don't even think about trying to sniff my underwear. God, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I saw you eyeballing them. I, I didn't even think about something like that. Good, because they'd probably knock you dead right now. God, fuck off with that stuff. Jeez. Disappeared into your stall and stripped off your underwear as Richard did. Fuck, this is exactly what I needed after all that work. Every last inch. Stop with the smells! God damn it! Get it off of this with Chester's route! Every last inch of me was covered in funk. That's what you mean. There's grass and dirt and sweat all over me. Don't get me wrong, I love doing the work. And I sure don't mind the side of seeing someone getting all grimy from work hard out there with me. What the fuck? The side of seeing someone getting all grimy from working hard out there with me. Okay. It sure does feel good to wash it all off when you're done. Yeah, it does feel great. You know what would make it better? If we shared a stall and helped each other out? It read my mind! There's no way we would fit in a stall together without being mashed together. We wouldn't get clean. You're probably right. But if you haven't noticed, the floor between the stalls has drains on it. We ain't gonna fit in the same stall together. What? You... It's day four, man! We ain't gotta fit in the same stall together to wash each other's backs. Oh, that never crossed my mind. Guess I'll keep that in mind for another day. Save it for date three. <laughs> okay. You finished your shower before Richard did. Yeah, let him know you were done and head into the living room to wait. Ah, uh, there you are. I'm not gonna put on pants or anything. You're just me and you, so why bother? Are they just retconning that other people used to live in this place during this game? I swear to God it was mentioned at some point. What about the pizza delivery guy? You can get the door. He should be here in the next five minutes. We went from all red to all blue. And Maria? You know as well as I do that she ain't gonna be back anytime soon. We'll hear her pull up, too, so I ain't worried about it. Okay, then. So I was thinking we could watch a movie if you're down for it. What movie? The hell is that? I don't know. It's some B-rated horror flick called Sharktopotamus. It's the hip hopopotamus. He's got rows of flows like f that rows that what flows that flow like phosphorus popping off the top of this esophagus not a water drilling mammal from africa that moved to the metropolis and be taught how to break dance where did you get that preposterous hypothesis did steve tell you that what kind of rapping name is steve steve that sounds interesting the monster is supposed to be a cross between a shark and hippo and it looks hilariously bad if that's what you want to watch, then sure, I'm game. Awesome! I've been wanting to watch it, but movies like this are way better when you watch them with someone. Haven't tried asking Maria? No. Don't matter now, though, because we're going to watch it. Richard plopped down onto the center of the couch, and you stayed near the door, peering out of the window to watch for the police, for the police, Jesus, for the pizza delivery. It was only a few minutes before he pulled up, and so you greeted him, took the pizzas, and returned to the table with it. Come over here and get some food. No, oh, how about you get out the fold-out table and just bring a box over here? I'll get some drinks first, and you can get the table set up. We'll just start the movie now and eat while we watch it. Will that be okay? What the fu- <laughs> Oh, man. I gotta remember, normal people eat at tables. As long as you don't drop anything on the couch, it'll be fine. Get something on the couch and we might get something on the couch and we, we might be in trouble. Well. Come on, let's get this date started. Okay, okay, I'll get the tables. You pulled out the folding table holding dinner tables and put two of them in front of the couch for the pizza. It re returned with the drinks to go along with it. Drop back down to the couch, sat down. <laughs> He dropped back onto the couch, and you sat down too, making sure to leave space between the two of you. Ready to see how bad this movie is? Yeah, let's get this movie started. 
watching a hilariously bad uh, horror movie, eating pizza, and getting awfully intimate on the first date. All that's missing is Rhett and Link. <laughs> and Mario Kart. <laughs> Richard started the fucking movie, opened the fucking pizza box, wasted no fucking time grabbing a fucking piece, taking a fucking bite. We have pizza in the fridge that went bad like four days ago. We should just eat it now. The movie jumped into the action right away with a creature appearing on screen. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. <laughs> you, you better sound bite that shit. Put it in the game. I'll put up my first voice acting credit. Is <laughs> in this game. <laughs> you weren't sure what to expect with a shark and hippo being combined. What you got wasn't disappointing. God, it looks terrible! How's it gonna do anything with only one step of sut one set of stumpy legs flailing our bag? Better yet, how is it so fast? It launched out of the water in a blink of an eye! <laughs> yeah! It's so fucking big, there's no way! Did you see how fake that blood spray looked when it was stomped on that dude's head? <laughs> That's pretty bad. Looked like they filmed someone just smashing a tomato and was just edited it in there! Exactly! This is not... <laughs> look! Look! <laughs> Richard's laughter overtook him and he was wheezing and slapping his legs. He tried to talk but between gasping and giggling. <laughs> ain't no way to hold his head up! The thing is, he's just pushing his face along the ground like he's crashing people! <laughs> ah! He's about... He's, he's definitely about to cry. His laughter was infectious and filled the living room, and you found yourself trying to stifle your giggles as the movie continued. At one point, he started laughing while eating his pizza, and you had to pause it and had to pause it as a coughing fit tore through him due to the choking on the food. Then, while you stopped him for a moment before eating and laughing resumed, oh, the night has crept in. Throughout the movie, he'd lightly slap the back of his hand against you before adding in more commentary. He talked a lot throughout, mostly questioning the sanity of the, of the characters and commenting about how horrible the computer-generated parts looked. For fuck's sake, really? She just pushed the button on... To, what the fuck? What? She just had to push the button to detonate the bomb and blow a thing up? She just stood there screaming while it walked toward her slowly. <laughs> when she finally did try to push the button, she just bit her hand off! Then it ate the rest of her in one bloody bite. This movie is great. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say it's great, but it's certainly entertaining. The second pizza was half gone when the movie ended, and Richard was left chuckling with his hand over his face. <laughs> Man, that was bad. But I guess all it would take was a rocket launcher to blow it up. Literally anyone. But it also laid, laid eggs in the ocean. Well, there's gonna be a bunch more than little fuckers running around. Those are little sequels in the making. Think there'll be a sequel? There better be! When it comes out, you better be ready to watch it. I'll be looking forward to it. Richard sighed and grabbed a slice of half-eaten pizza and took another bite of it. You know, that, that was the piece I was eating. Oh, oh, my bad. Here you go. He offered the slice back to you. Fucking take it. What, is, what the fuck? Were you gonna get radiation poisoning? Took the piece from it and resumed eating it. Ain't you scared you'll catch anything from me? Nah, it's whatever. It's almost like we just swapped spit. That's not the same thing at all. Practically is. He just grinned broader and grabbed another slice of pizza. He knows exactly what he did. Since the movie ended, Richard found something else to watch. And for the next little while, I watched TV together while making small talk. Keep slouching. If you keep slouching, your bat is going to explode. Ah! Oh shit, I'm still in the frame. Fuck. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I should probably start getting ready for bed. I figured it was getting close to that time. I'll take care of our dinner stuff. You can go do what you need. Thanks. And thanks for tonight, too. It's been a little while since I've really hung out with anyone like this, and it was fun. I really enjoyed myself, too. I'm glad you had fun. 
There ain't no reason why we can't do this more often. We live in the same place after all. Yeah, we'll have to do it again soon. You stood there for a moment and stared at each other. And Richard grabbed the pizza box. Anyway, uh, get going. You gotta make sure you're rested for tomorrow. Ah, uh, right. One more thing, though. What? Did you really consider this a date? I mean, we just hung out is all. That's all a date is, man. That really is it. The best dates are just fucking around and having fun. But see, even he said, that ain't that a, all a date really is? I guess so. No, I reckon there's one big difference in a date and two fellas hanging out. And that is? Oh my god. He moved in quickly and gave you a greasy kiss on the cheek. You like more of a date now? Oh, uh, I didn't think I could make you blush more than I already have, but there you go. Yeah, but sleep well tonight. He didn't give you much of a chance to reply before he left the kitchen with the pizza boxes. I guess I'll go get ready for bed now. I need to make sure I'm well rested for tomorrow. Can't believe you just kissed me though. Unexpected, but it felt nice. I think I'll sleep even better no, 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 because of that. And day five. Day five? Day five? What the hell? Someone said in the comments that day five was a Patreon exclusive day. But apparently they were wrong. Or I misread. Or whatever. Either way, whatever. <laughs> so the next episode will be day five. Uh, and once I get through what's available of Richard's route, I'm gonna uh, go back and try to, apparent, I think, I think someone said that Chester's route was finished. Uh, so I, I definitely need to do that. And Lord knows, I mean, we finished Spencer and Harold. So we've got uh, Chester, Dozer, Darius, and now Richard. Um, Chester and Dozer are really close to being finished I think I'm really behind on Darius this this series is gonna be like 400 fucking episodes or something <laughs> thank you all very much for watching hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments and I'll talk to y'all again next time bye everyone bye bye